Let's take out our Bibles and learn together. Chag Tzemech. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the death of Messiah. And he said something very significant. No one takes my life, but I lay it down. Meaning that he surrendered his life for the will of God in order to be our redemption. Or, as Paul said, to become our Passover lamb. And when we look at his death upon the cross, what did he say? It is finished. Now that word for finished means not just over and done, but it also means in this context that which is perfectly done. When he says it is finished, he has completed perfectly the work of redemption. Now remember, there's two parts of redemption. There's the payment and the outcome of that payment. When he died upon the cross, he completed perfectly that payment for our redemption. And we know many things that Messiah is going to do when he comes the second time. But the work, that payment, has been made in full. Some people wrongly teach that Satan killed Messiah on the cross. That is blasphemy. It is heresy. It does not agree with the Scripture. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that Satan killed the Messiah. The Scripture says, like a lamb, he went to the slaughter silently. He gave of himself. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. He is the one that deserves praise. Satan, through the cross, has been eternally defeated. Now, there's another aspect that I'd like to talk about in this study, and that has to do with Messiah's words after he rose from the dead. What he said to Miriam in the book of John, chapter 20, and verse 17. He says to her, Do not touch me. I have not ascended to the Father. Now, we know 40 days later, he ascended. But that same time, during that that period, after his resurrection, before the ascension, he said to Thomas, touch me and handle me and know that I'm not a ghost. That is just a spirit, that there was substance to him. So, do we know why that he said these words to Miriam, do not touch me? There's a lot of speculation, but we do not know the answer to that reason why he said that. But what we do know is this, Messiah's work on the cross is sufficient. He doesn't need to do anything to maintain our salvation. He has done it perfectly, sufficiently, sufficiently, and the enemy has been defeated. So do not think that there was something wrong or incorrect when he said, it is finished. He completed the purpose of God for his first coming into this world. It was a Passover purpose. He gave his life so we could experience redemption. And the evidence of that, that sufficiency, is in the fact that Messiah was raised by God the Father from the dead. And the fact that we are saved by faith is attested to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on another biblical holiday called the Feast of Weeks, or Shavuot. What's so important is that we see that on Resurrection Sunday, That is the beginning of the counting of the Omer, the beginning of that that first fruit. And we know that it is completed on the last day of that counting, on Shavuot or Pentecost, 50 days later. And 50 is an important number in the Bible. We know that the Jubilee year is the 50th year, and it speaks about liberty or freedom but a very specific liberty and freedom. It is the freedom to serve God. What do we know? Messiah rose from the dead 
on that festival of first fruit, that special day. We know what the prayer was. We've already spoken of it, that the rest of the harvest would be like the first fruit. And then on that last day of the harvest, Shavuot or Pentecost, we receive the Spirit of God. Why? So we can serve God. You have been saved. Messiah went to the cross. He sufficiently and accurately did the work of salvation so that we can live a new life, a life of obedience, a life of submissiveness where we bring glory and honor to God. That's the message of being unleavened, and this is the primary teaching of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Well, I'll close with that. We have one more lesson left, and it's a lesson of victory on this last day of the Festival of Unleavened Bread. We'll talk more about this special day, the last day, tomorrow. Shalom from Israel.